It's Terrence Gangster Way, aka OG Kiggity. Yo, when I first got the WCI, y'all, one of the homies named Jazzy Fat, he come to the window. Cause like in, in WCI, they didn't have uh, central air and heat. So they had, they had the windows open. They had big, they had fans on the front part of the dorm and the back part. So Jazzy Fat come to the window. He like, yo, where Giggity at? Look at the screen, right? Get the light on, right? the light kind of shine a little bit. All right, hold on. He said, where Giggity at? So, the homie Big L without the mail for like, oh, come call me. Now, I don't know, they got this, 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 this guy, he like about 6'6", six, six. light skin, named Big D, out the night wall. He said, say so, what's his name? And Big L said, well, that's Giggity. He like, oh, all right. He leave, he step, but we're in the same dorm now. I don't know this yet. You know, I'm just, I just got there, matter of fact. I'm just hanging out, trying to see what's going on, the homies, you know, how the they heard I was there. So, uh, Big Edward, out uh, the milk, bring him to me and introduce him and I. He said, uh, she said, so, he said, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm happy I went ex. Your home, your, uh, your round. What your name is because I was about to put all this up in here. He told me he showed me like a 10 inch, big, up to about blade, big. I'm like, boy, you about to hit me with that? He's like, yeah, man, because I, I got, it's a guy named Diggity, uh, saw something like yours that killed my brother. I was like, whoa, bad. So now, let me show y'all how I didn't even know that. I knew all his family members. One day he on the phone. I said, man, give me a three-way. He on the phone with somebody. I don't know who he on the phone at this time. They give him a three-way. So I called somebody. Yeah, I told him. To. When I get off the phone, a few seconds, he said, come here, soul. I said, what's up? He said, man, you the little N-word that was calling my mother's house, uh, 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 driving my mother crazy. This is like... He said, man, you know my little sister such and such? I'm like, yeah, I know her. He said, uh, hold on. He put the phone. I'm like, he said, hey, I, I had met her. Now, this is like 95 now. I had met her back in 92. So, uh, but I had met her through another guy he used to be dealing with. Her. So she used to give me three with him. So anyway, um, so we talking, yeah. Then like a week later, he get a letter. Say, so, what's up? Man, my little brother told me to tell you what's up. He ain't ain't gold. I got like a hundred and something. I said, talking about juvenile. Yeah, man, he was about to help me fight when I was in the Paris. Uh, when a boy who I hit up was back there trying to send a hit at me. He like, yeah, man, it's my little brother, man. I was like, wow, man. So I'm like, I knew all his family members before I met him. At the time, he had six 40 years running consecutive me running wild. He got to this 40, this 40, this 40. And he had six 20 years running wild. He had been down since 1976. Uh, he had a co-defendant on that case with him. So, uh, you know, we started hanging out, kicking it, and I used to give him all the drugs to, to push because he already knew because he had the comfort in Angola, so he knew everybody, and, you know, everybody knew him. So it was good, you know. So uh, one day when I go to visit, my name rang up there for having the drugs, and I knew they hate on me. So this time what I do, instead of me, Cuffing the drugs in my colostomy bag, my doodle bag, I pay the dude to bring it back for me. Cause I like something ain't right. I just don't. It's just man. Soon as visit over with, they wait. They need you to report to the uh, medical. No, I ain't sick. I ain't. I ain't go there. As soon as I go in there, the nurse waiting, waiting on me. She hand me a colostomy and said, "Here, take that one off and put this one on." So they had to stay, search my colostomy bag, y'all. They, now, I'm not saying somebody put them on me or whatever. I just, they, you know, they just, every now and again, they just search, you know, they uh, pass certain people down. It just so happened, they called me to be packed down. Well, to uh, take my colostomy bag off. 
had already had to work, already going down the wall, a different route. See, I was young on, on top of my game back then, you know, but I'd never done drugs too, so I always had a clear mind. I knew what I was doing, how I was going to maneuver this stuff, you know, but now that I, I, I'm, I'm reminiscing with you all, I, kick, I sit back and kick back and I be like, boy, you played a lot of crackhead games, man. Somebody could have hit my head, but this was God's plan for me to be here, y'all, to hang out with you all, to kick it. And, 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 and matter of fact, what time is it? It's 4.14, and I'm hanging out with you all. A.M., 4.14 a.m., let me make that be exact. So, um, yeah, so anyway, get back down the wall. The dudes play fair, they don't go in my package or nothing. Give me my, give me my word. We back, bro. We back, bro. So, my boy on across the yard, who mad with me, he sent word. Tell Gangster, meet me in the gym. It's going down. We're going to fight in the gym. I'm like, all right. Now this time I'm sick of him now. So I'm like, all right, we're going to the gym, man. So happened they ain't called my yard for the gym. Now I would have had he called my yard, I would have had to go. Because a few people were starting to get, get whenever they knew what was going on. And my name was up was ringing up there because I had all the drugs. I was a little young boy with all the work. I had the heroin, I had the weed on the compound. And a little crack. I was doing my thing, y'all. So uh yeah, they ain't called my yard. My yard. They ain't called my yard. And, and, and I know you might be. Yeah, I know you haven't even called your yard. He beat up your partner, the boxer. In a way, it might be. You know what I'm saying? It might be. You know, but they didn't call my yard. So uh, I ducked that. You know. And um, you know, in fact, I didn't even see that cat when I get ready to go. But I know this though, y'all. I had promised a few guys who wasn't getting visited that when I got out, I was gonna bring their people back to see him. And guess what? That's what I did. I had got home, I went home April the 16th, 1996. May 9th, I had the Q45, the green Q45. I had got the license plate made with bow to the man on that thing. We picked up a few people, pop, pop, let's go. Went on back up there. I'm in the parking lot, you know, I can't get in now because I'm still on parole. But I'm hanging out in the parking lot. I got the fresh ballet uh, uh, Commodores, blue. Uh, uh, what I had on the, uh, the uh, some. Navy blue Jabot team with the striped polo shirt. And the trustees could come out in the parking lot, but they'd be on the truck, and I jumped out of the car. Why? Wow, let them see me. You dig? Let them see I'm out here, fresh, yeah, free, hanging out in the parking lot. Because I had to let the guys that hadn't been getting a visit from my town, from my city, family come see them. Yeah, so they got a chance to see their loved ones, y'all. So um, it's kind of cold right now. You know, I got my red thumb on, got my red hat. Shout out to this brother here. I got this hat when I was at the uh, fair uh, in Dallas. Yeah, he gave me this hat right here. So y'all make sure y'all check him out, support him. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's it for right now, man. I'm gonna go ahead on and get on up off here. But I'll be back. I'll be back, man. I'm gonna get back with y'all. Y'all know the drill now. Say no to drill, stop the vibe, put them guns down. Much love, thank you all for hanging out with me because I'm enjoying this, man. Wah! Oh, man, now come on. Y'all gotta get y'all now. Y'all like my intro? Come on now. Put the hate in it. Do like, y'all gotta do like this here. When you do this here, I mean, put the hate in the side. Tell me about my intro. I know it was hard. You did? 